Hello, hello, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Remember to like and subscribe. So for today's video, I'm going to make a castle jointed bed frame. To start things off, I'm starting with the legs. I'm using a stop block so that each leg will be exactly the same size. Using stop blocks are very effective if you really need exactly the same sized pieces all throughout. As you can see, they are all the same size and these will be perfect for the legs. So before anything else, I want to thank Lotus for sponsoring me this beautiful machine. It is the Lotus Thickness Planer. It has 2000 watts. It has 12.5 inch capacity and of course those helical blades. So I'm just planing each plank so to make sure that they are of equal thickness and also to remove rough spots. So I'm using a sacrificial piece at the front to eliminate snipes since I already cut my legs to final size. I don't want any snipe to occur. Here I'm planing the sides of the bed so that they are of equal thickness also. It is important for them to be of equal thickness because they are going to be lap jointed. This is the glue up of the leg. I'm going to take two 2x6 pieces and sandwich a 1x6 piece. The single 1x6 piece is the perfect gap between those two 2x6s because the 1x6 gap is perfect because they are a cut off from the long 1x6 planks we are going to use for the sides. So when we are going to fit everything in, it will fit nice and snug because they are the exact same piece. So I'm going to glue all four pieces, let it sit overnight. Just make sure that they are close to flush as much as possible so that to lessen your work after. So now that the glue is dry, we are going to cut them again to final size. So the final size of these legs are 4 inches by 4 inches. I did not use 2x4s right out of the bat so that I could trim the edges of any imperfections of any dry glue that will get in the way and so that it will have a clean nice look. So after cutting there will be some rough edges, some rough spots, uneven thicknesses because of the table saw so we're going to fix that with a planer. We're going to even out all the thickness of the legs so that they are uniform, they will not rock to one side. So after planing, we are going to cut the slots for the castle joints. Basically, they are just two lap joints that will rest on the legs, which is this one. And the slots will also serve as a locking mechanism so that they will not move, they will not shift. Your bed will be very, very sturdy. So as you can see here, I'm not cutting through and through. I marked my fence with masking tape so that I could know where to stop. The reason why I go for the table saw first so that I could establish a straight cut and then I'm going to hand saw after. If you're going to use a hand saw all throughout these cuts, there is a risk of not having straight cuts. So I started with the table saw and then I'm going to use a hand saw later because my table saw cannot uh, finish the cuts. So yeah, a little bit more work, a little bit elbow grease here and there. But for me, th this is the most efficient way and maybe the only way because this is the, these are the only tools available to me. So do with what you have and yeah, be creative. So after the slots have been cut, have been finished, I'm now dry fitting the sides so that I could also mark the lap joints that I'm going to make. So after the marking is done, I'm back to hand cutting these lap joints. Actually, for me, 
it is much easier to hand cut compared to using a table saw. I tried the table saw at first. Using a table saw for the edges are very hard and very heavy. So and it's not that safe. So using a hand saw might be a little more work but it's a lot safer. So now I'm preparing to dry fit everything and see if everything is fit, flush, or if I need to do any adjustments for the perfect fit, yeah. So far this is the only adjustment I need to make. I removed more material than what you see in the clip. I, I think I spent around 10 minutes uh, just planing for that perfect fit and then after that I chiseled out a little more material, material, material in the castle joint itself because it won't fit. Yeah, so here you can see I'm chiseling just a little bit, just a little bit. Chisels are very handy to have for those micro adjustments to make because in woodworking you can never really avoid those little adjustments for perfect fits. And I did not hammer in these sides completely because I felt it was still too tight so if I hammered it in completely I might have a hard time taking it out. So I removed a little more material off cam and finished the adjustments there. I also need to install the supports and slats that's why i did not uh, finish the dry fit so here i'm cutting the support planks that will be attached to the sides these are to hold the slats that are going to hold the cushion so here i have already finished the dry fit and now I'm just uh, spacing out the planks see if I need more or less or what space finalize everything and after finalizing everything the spaces the adjustments I'm going to route the edges for a more professional look and of course so that the edges won't be sharp and soft to touch after routing I already finished everything I finished it with boiled linseed oil and I was supposed to glue this one but a friend told me to not glue it and it was a good thing I listened because I found out that I still needed to make a few more adjustments after the final fit and if I glued everything I might have not made those adjustments so yeah that's it thank you for watching the video like and subscribe do all those lovely stuff share this with your friends try to do this at home this is safe to do at home please do it at home this may be your next beautiful bed your next beautiful diy project or maybe the next thing you sell so have a great time see you in the next one bye